Hi, it's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. We're going to do a yacht problem number two and um, dealing with vectors, of course. Okay, so we have yacht A and yacht B doing various things, starting and moving at a certain speed. And we can model their path by making lines because they're traveling in straight yeah. directions. So let's make our vector equations for okay. yacht A. Okay, I'll call it R sub A so we know the difference. Vector is going to be the point. The starting point in negative 10, 4. Plus t. t. Times our position or our direction vector, 2, right. negative 1. All right. And we'll say t. It doesn't say, probably later on the question will tell us more about t, but t is time in hours, I believe. Okay. We might change our mind about that based upon what we find out later. But right now, we'll just assume that that's true. And then our sub b is 3 negative 13 plus t, same t this time because it's time is the same for both of them, negative 1, 3. And so these are the paths uh, that our boats are going to take. Now, if we consider, these are both straight lines, and I know just roughly speaking, if I take this, I know that boat A starts at negative 10 and goes up 4, he starts here, and then he goes in a direction right, of two, and then down one. So he's going. Doo, 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 doo. This is kind of where he's going. That direction. Right. If I look at B, I go over three and down thirteen, and then I go x direction negative of one. one and three. Here. So okay. he's going to be going like this. And it looks like they would hit each other, but the one thing you want to consider is what time do they intersect? Because right. if they don't intersect at the same time, then they're not going to hit each other. Right, because those, they cross, but if the yacht A gets there at time two, and yacht B gets there at time three, then they don't actually cross each other. Think about yeah. cars in an intersection. Cars cross intersections all the time, um, but they don't, they don't hit each other. They, they go through at different times. That's because we have stoplights, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> True. It forces us to stop. All right, so here are our vector equation. That's what's going on. Let's go to the next, scenario, next part of the question. Oh, the next part of the question. Here it is. All right, so now it says find the position vector of B relative to A. Okay. So now B relative to A. All right, so let's find my graph that I made. Let me take... So this is A, let's say, and this here is B. I want to find A, B here. Okay. okay, A to B. So we know from doing that, we just have to start with B right. and subtract A. Right, and this is all of B, and this is all of A. So we're just going to subtract these two and get this position vector A, B. All right, so starting with B. So our x value for B is just 3 minus t. And then we're going to subtract all of A, which is negative 10 plus 2t. Same thing for the y value. What do I get there? Negative Ms. 13 plus 3t minus 4 minus t. And if we simplify this, I get 3 plus 10 is 13, negative t minus 2t is minus 3t. And down below oh. we have negative 17, and 3t plus t is 4t. 4t. Plus 4t. Okay. So, so that's our position vector oh. of b relative okay. to a. Right. I've that's put into my calculator the equations of my yachts. And if I hit graph, we'll see them go if I hit graph. Maybe. Rap. Maybe. And why are you not going, graph? Hmm. Hmm. Let me change this quickly and maybe that'll like it if I do that. Point six. There we go. There we go. Working. There's one yacht. There's the other. And they Stop. didn't collide. They did not collide. But what's happening is, take this over here for a second. What we've just found, oh, I got two of them. 
Ah, what we just found is this vector here. We just went, this is A, and this is B. We just found this vector, this is this. As T changes, this vector is changing. So a few seconds before that, it was like this, and here was AB, and then before it was, it, so it's continually changing what the vector is. And so that's what we have here. It's all relative to time. It is relative to time. Okay, so let us, what are we going to do with this vector? Let's take this calculation that we have. This is vector A, and let's put it into the next part. It says, use the results from 3 to show that if D is the distance between the yachts at any time T, then the distance squared equals. All right, okay, so let's pull all this stuff up so we can see it. Oh, I missed my equal sign. That's okay. Okay, so here is my vector. I want to find the results from this one to show that it is true. So I know this is AB, which is talking about that vector A to B. So in order to find the distance of AB, D squared is the distance. I'm going to just find the magnitude of AB, the magnitude of AB squared. Okay. Which is going to be the same thing as D squared. So I can ignore my square root since it's squared, mm -hmm. and I get 13 minus 3t squared. Oh, oh, parentheses parentheses squared, 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 squared. Plus negative 17 plus 4t parentheses squared. <clears throat> now just distribute that out. Oh, this is going to be ugly. 169 minus 39, 39 and 39. 78 maybe? Yep. T. Plus 9t squared. Plus 17 squared. I don't know that one. 289. 289 plus minus. Uh, That's 68 and 68, so negative 136. T. Plus 16t squared. Collecting all my like <laughs> terms. 169 plus 289. 458. Yeah, so 25t squared. Oh, oh 458. That's okay. yep. 458. What's the t, what are the t's going to add up to? So I have 78 and 136. So negative 214t. And if we're really lucky and we didn't make any other mistakes, it is the same as what we were asked to find. That's what Hooray. I like when they do that with the IB problems is they tell you what they want you to find. So you work through the problem and it's a good way to check yourself. It is. It's like having the answers to the back of the book right there in front of yeah. you. You still have to show your work. So now it says, show that D squared is a minimum. Oh, Cub Scout camping for me this weekend. <laughs> show that D squared is a minimum when T is 4.28. So d squared, minimum, oh. Minimum. Minimum. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways we can do that. Right. I can think of three off the top of my head. Well, we could find the vertex, right? That's could, one way. Because this here is a quadratic. So our first option is we could find the vertex. And we know that is x equal to minus b over 2a. I guess it's t for us, this problem. The other way we could do it, that's another way we could do it. Calculus. Right, minimum screams calculus to me. Calculus. We find the derivative. All right, derivative equal to zero. The third way is we could just graph it. Graph it. And use our calculator, GDC. Okay. Right. So either one of those ways. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm feeling like I haven't done calculus for a while, so let me find the derivative of this. So I'm going to find the derivative of d squared dt. All right, so bring down the 2, so we have 50t minus 214. This is so easy, that's why I love calculus. I know. Set it equal to 0. And t, yes. oh, there's my, high, my, my well, there it is. equal sign from before. <laughs> Lined up perfectly. So t equals 214 divided by 50. 50. 4.28. Which is 4.28. Is it n unit was? It didn't give any units, so, which is 4.28. And that's what it was supposed to be. Hooray! Show that the minimum happens there. That's, that is good. Oh, yeah. Next part says, hence, find hence, the time when D... What does D, hence mean? Hence, hence means you have to use the previous information. You have no choice, but you have to refer somehow 
to this question. Okay. Right. Sorry. So, <laughs> find a time when D is a minimum and then find the shortest distance. Well, if D is a minimum, let's think about this for a second. If D squared equals a quadratic, right? Equal to a quadratic. And it was a minimum value here at this time t. Then d is just the square root of that. And so it will always be some other curve, but it will ha won't be the same y values, but this will still be a minimum at the same time. So the minimum for d is also going to be when t equals 4.28. Okay. Okay. So it wants us to find um, the shortest distance. Well, if the shortest distance happens at 4.28, then, well, and d squared equals, oh, what did it equal? d squared was this thing here. Oh, let's see if I can get all of it. That's d squared. All right, let's, uh, if this is d squared, then d is simply going to be just the square root of the all square that. root of all of it. So I'm going to find the square root of 25t squared minus 214t plus 459 when I know t equals 4.28. Okay, so okay, if we plug it into our calculator, we which get... we did, we get 0.02. Is it point zero two? Okay. Yep. I'll believe you. All right. I'm going off my memory there. So there is no unit given, so it's just simply point zero two. And that's the whole problem. <laughs>